Good morning, it is 5.30 a.m. I'm up by myself because I'm going to witness something that happens at dawn here in Lang Prabang, and it is called almsgiving, and is where the locals make offerings like sticky rice to the Buddhist monks so they can eat it throughout the day. That was beautiful. I'm so thankful I was able to observe. Now I'm going to wake up John and Tiana because we have a really big day planned. We're going on a grand adventure and we have a lot of things to see. A waterfall, we're going to a bear sanctuary, we're gonna hike up a mountain. It's gonna be amazing. Good morning. Good morning. You ready to go see the bears? Okay. Okay. It's a little, a little early bit tired. <laughs> we just got in the Tuk Tuk, which is taking us to Quang Sea Falls. Tiana's probably going to go back to sleep uh, because we had to get up so early. I got the rest of my crew with me. And I think it's going to be an adventure. <laughs> We made it! All right, so we just got to the waterfalls. It took about an hour to get here. We actually rented a private tuk-tuk. It's more like a tuk-tuk truck. Anyway, it was a little bit bumpy, but beautiful. And we are the first ones to get here. We did that on purpose because we want to have the waterfalls all to ourselves, at least for a little bit. The waterfall was gorgeous as I'm sure you saw and we were there at the perfect time because as we were leaving there was loads of tourists coming in to see the falls but we had it all to ourselves and now we are at the Save the Bears Sanctuary which is also in this park but they have their own little area and we're going to go on a tour to see how they care for the bears and they're going to educate us all about the bears and their rescue operation. So we're going to be seeing moon bears, feeding them and learning all about them today. So this cage, and um, sometimes they're in, if they're not rescued, they can be in this cage for their whole life. So baby girl, this is the cage they keep the bears in. So how tall are you about Victor? I'm about 6'1". Okay, so a bear can stand pretty much the same height as you. Right. This is what they're putting in the forest. So what we see, this is like very cheap, very easy to install. So they put this underneath the foliage and then as the bears or any animals really walk down, they get caught in it and as they try to release themselves. That's a slipknot. That's when they can't that's when they can't escape. When we rescue a bear, sometimes being in a cage for 16 years and even just letting her out into our quarantine area, you could see her like she'd never touched like firm ground before. So our quarantine area still has a pool, it has a climbing frame. It's still a lovely area. Even just watching her just come out of the transport crate into that was just amazing. Like, it really makes a big difference. It's gonna be fun. Some days they get whole coconuts or frozen pineapples. Yeah, strawberry jelly. And then they get honey. We're doing the bear's enrichment right now, which consists of putting peanuts in their toys. It's actually a really fun activity, and they're going to come out and play with their toys and get them. And then John has their lunch right here, so we're going to go hide this all around so that they get to go find it, because that's how they like to eat, teaches them to forge. Tiana's really excited because we get to hide the food, and she thinks she can hide it well enough that they can't find it, but I think they'll find it. All right, come here. Oh, that's a good spot. I'm not even it. I don't think we'll find that. Where else you want to hide one?
Okay. And what? And the two tires. In the tires? Yes. Okay. How about maybe one in there? Okay. Where's my dad? You're doing so good at hiding them. We've now left the enclosure and we're up in a little tree house and we're gonna watch the bears find their treats. Oh, look, he found it on the roof. He found it in the tire. Tiana, those are the ones that you put around the outside of the pond. I'm the pond. But the one in the water. Yeah. I dropped it. You did drop one in the water. I don't think they'll find that one. Yes. Oh, maybe you will. Hi, guys. I see bears. I saw bears, too. Daddy. Dad, I don't know where Daddy go, but I'll we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll see you. I know I'll say bye-bye. I'll see you bear. The moo bear. I want to see it. Look up, but I don't really know how to make a video when I'm hunting. Okay, wake up. Are you done talking or are you still talking? I'm done talking. Okay. Sometimes bear no money because they You know what we're about bears? Okay, I'll sing it. Some bears with you keep bitter babies. Silly babies. Aww. Who is it too long? Go buy stuff, please, from me. We just got done feeding the bears. It was an amazing experience. Save the Bears is doing such incredible work all over Southeast Asia and India, where they are saving bears, all different types from poaching and tourism and circuses. So they save these bears and give them a good life. I know it looks like they're in enclosures or cages. They're not really cages, but they do have like wire around so they can't escape. That's for their own safety. Um, they cannot be re-released into the wild because they've been born into captivity. They wouldn't survive. And so if they were to re-release them, they would risk starving to death and dying that way or being recaptured by poachers again because there's not a lot of area that's protected around here for them. So this is the safest place for them to be. They don't breed bears, they just rescue ones that need help. And their stories were so heartbreaking, but the bears look so content and calm and safe now. So we were happy to support them by donating and having a tour. And now we're actually gonna get back on our crazy tuk-tuk ride, head back into Wang Prabang and find somewhere for lunch. You wanna carry me then? No. She's really mad right now because I won't carry her. But she hasn't carried me at all. So, yeah. all right, you carry me a little bit, okay? Okay. All right, go. <laughs> Good job. All right, now, now I'll carry you. <laughs> That's a deal. You did really good. Let's go get some lunch. And guys, real quick, we wanted to thank Tiger Head. I'm just kidding. <laughs> was that the most exciting animal encounter you could have? No, but it was ethical, and that's what we care about. So, did you have fun? We're getting ready. <laughs> Tiana got you. That she me. scared me. We're getting ready to head to lunch, and it's actually a surprise place for Tiana. It's a CAT cafe, um, and we have a sweet ride, so I'm gonna let them tell you about it. Yeah, we picked up this little motorbike, and uh, Tiana's gonna drive because she says she has her license, right? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> wait, 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 right. get on, mommy. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. I need a ride. Hey. <laughs> We're here. You know what it is? Guess what it is? 
It's called the Cat Cafe, and there's a bunch of kitty cats inside. You, you want to see them? Yeah. I'm funny. Guys, the Cat Cafe, the Dutch pancakes, they were a 10 out of 10. I actually got two orders of them. Everything was delicious, but now we're gonna head back and go swimming. Tiana? Yeah. What time is it? Swimming time. You wanna go swimming? Uh-huh. All right, let's get changed. You want to land in the water or you want me to catch you? Land in the water. All right, ready? Take it <laughs> She's getting so good at swimming. She's a better swimmer right now at five than I was at like 25. Or now. Or even now. Yeah, I'm not a great swimmer. Good job. That swim was so refreshing after a long day in the sun. John and Tiana are actually still in the pool. I just took a shower and I wanted to tell you guys really quick about the bed and breakfast we're staying in because it is the cutest place ever. And if you ever come to Luang Prabang, you have to stay here. The best thing about this place is the people that own and run it. So it's run by a couple and a local family and they are just absolutely so welcoming. They've helped us with everything during our stay. They're so sweet to Tiana and we've absolutely loved getting to know them. So if you come to Luang Prabang, make sure you stay at Ban Pila. I'll link it down below as well. And now we're going to look for somewhere to watch sunset. We're trying to decide if we're gonna hike up 300 stairs to the tallest viewpoint in Luang Prabang, um, or if we're gonna go take the kind of laser option and go to the river and watch it, because that doesn't require any hiking. But I don't know, I think we might be up for the challenge. You ready? Um, you ready? <laughs> We decided to go for it. We're gonna hike up Mount Pousse and we're almost at the bottom of the stairs. So we're about to take step one of 300. We are on like step 20 of 312, I believe. Um, but I can already tell the views are gonna be worth it because the river is right behind us. We can't go anywhere without this girl finding a cat to hold. I feel like you're the only person who can pick up stray cats and the cats don't care. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> kitty kitty, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, you're the best. Tiana. Yes. You've almost did all of them by yourself. That one? One more, yep. Oh. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. 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 Like that. Right. Yeah. Good job, baby. Oh, I'm not I can keep them up. Okay, Yeah. Hey, buddy. I will all. Off the stairs. I'm so proud of you. You did all 312 stairs by yourself. Mm. Can you believe it? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay my, my cookies? Yes, you can have your cookies. Let's sit right here. Eat some cookies. Yay! Good job. Well, my shower before this hike was pointless, but Tiana climbed up all the stairs. Now we're having a little snack. I know, I'm so sweaty now. And me? A little bit. A little bit right there. We are gonna enjoy sunset. John's taking some videos and pictures and it's so nice up here. Absolutely beautiful, definitely worth the stairs and they actually weren't as bad as I thought.
We're heading back down the mountain now. Actually, we'd probably call it a hill because it really wasn't that bad to climb. The sunset was absolutely beautiful. It was gorgeous and definitely worth the hike up, but man, it was crazy, filled with people, and there was a lot of mosquitoes, so bring bug spray if you go. But overall, worth the trip up. We made it down the hill, but we have one minor slash major problem, and that is that this is not where we came up the hill. So we didn't know there was two sets of stairs, and we came down the 312 stairs on the other side, and our motorbike is on the opposite side of us right now. So we need to figure out how to get over there, and we don't want to go back up and down the stairs again. So maybe we'll take a tuk-tuk. Do you think we should go up the stairs again or take a ride? I'm not taking the stairs again. I'll sleep right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not taking stairs. <laughs> I'm gonna take a tuk tuk. You're gonna take a tuk tuk. Tuk tuk goose. Perfect. Tuk tuk goose. You know these tuk tuks are sitting right here for dummies just like us who come down the wrong side of the mountain. Oh, whoa. What? There's a chicken pot pie right there. Where? There's two chicken pot pies. Those are Tyrannosaurus Rex. Where? Right there. Where? It's flying. Yeah, that's a blanket. We decided to come to the night market for dinner, which is really close to our hotel. And I got vegetable spring rolls. Tiana got vegetable sushi. It's actually delicious it's so sushi. Good. I'm about to steal some. There's a fried noodle in it. Amazing. And John got a noodle bowl with tofu and a bunch of veggies in it. Everything has been delicious. You really cannot go wrong with night market food. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for dessert, and I got my new favorite thing. It is coconut pancakes, but they're actually, let me bite it and show you, hold on. They're actually made out of coconut milk and sugar and it creates a custard in the middle. And they're amazing, but nobody else in this family likes them, so I had to buy them to eat them all myself. My son is really good actually, but then I get it to me. We can't get him first. I got a banana mango smoothie, which is absolutely delicious. Good morning. We have been spending today poolside so far. We had an amazing breakfast and now we are in a bit of a conundrum, a little bit of a pickle, if you will. We're trying to figure out if we can go to Vietnam tonight as we planned. We're supposed to get on a flight at 5 or 7 p.m. to go to Hanoi, Vietnam, but our Vietnam visas haven't been approved and we expected them to be approved yesterday. So this is a bit of an issue. Um, Vietnam's one of the countries that we have to have a visa ahead of time to enter into. They don't do visa on arrival. So we keep checking our email and hoping it gets approved, but it looks like we might be spending another night here in Laos, which I'm not mad about, but it does put a little bit of a kink in our travel plans. So I guess we're just gonna eat a lot of food and hang out and wait to see if we get an email. You think we're gonna get it in time? The visa? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be positive. I'm gonna say we're gonna get an email in the next 30 minutes. Good for you, babe. Look at me. Okay. Look at me. Okay. We are now down the street at Two Little Birds Cafe eating some smoothie bowls and trying to figure out what we're gonna do because we still don't have our visas for Vietnam. All right, so we kind of have a backup plan where we could actually skip over Vietnam first since the visa hasn't came in yet. And we could go straight to Cambodia and then do Vietnam second. Yeah, I think we might have to do that, but the problem is the flight to Cambodia is in two hours and we didn't plan on doing it this way, but the Cambodia visa you just do on arrival, so it's super easy. Um, so we're going to finish our bowls and then make our last minute decision. Honestly, this bowl is so delicious, I don't care. <laughs> Okay, so we're choosing to live life a little bit dangerously here. We just got back to our hotel, we packed up, got out of there by 12 o'clock, it's 12 o'clock right now. There's one more thing we wanted to do in downtown Luang Prabang and that's see one of the beautiful temples. We probably shouldn't be doing that because we only have about an hour till we have to leave for our flight, but we're going to try to make it work. So we're gonna jump on the scooter, head down there, see a temple, get back here within 30, 45 minutes. Then they're gonna pick up the scooter and give us a ride to the airport where we'll only have about an hour to choose whether we're going to Cambodia or Vietnam. So hang on tight. Guys, it's closed until 1.30. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to go in. That's okay. This is all part of traveling. We can see the temple from the outside and the outside of the temple is gorgeous. So John's gonna show it to you. There are some pros to being six foot one. <laughs> Back to the hotel we go. This 
poor little angel fell asleep on her five minute scooter ride. Oh, when she falls asleep, it makes me feel like she's younger than five because she doesn't really take naps anymore and it's so sweet. All right, the Tuk Tuk is here to take us to the airport. We are just waiting on the scooter people to come pick this up because they actually have my passport. So hopefully they are on time. Also, I'm really upset with myself the other day when I said that this was like a Tuk Tuk, but more like a truck and I didn't call it a truck truck. I know, I know, we're just sitting right there. Oh, by the way, we still haven't decided which country we're going to. <laughs> Baby girl could care less. This will be the first time we ever went to the airport with no plane ticket because we're hoping maybe we'll get our visa like by the time we get to the airport. Um, Sounds like a terrible plan. I'll do anything with you, babe. Thanks, babe. Good? Good. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate yeah. it. Bye, yeah, thank you. you. Alright, we made it to the airport, but that doesn't mean much because we still don't have a ticket. And we still don't know where we're going. You gonna check it right now? Yeah. No. No? no. Alright, looks like maybe Cambodia it is. What's the chances they let us buy tickets 30 minutes before the flight? The sign clearly says closed, but we're gonna try anyway. They sent us to some office. Tiana's trying to purposely make her bag too heavy, which would cost us more money. <laughs> All right, so quick update. It does not look like we are gonna be going to Cambodia because they actually tripled the prices in the last few minutes, knowing that we were probably in a bind. So Rihanna's actually back there right now working with the people to try to get our Vietnam visas approved so we can get on that flight at 5.30. If that doesn't happen, I am not sure what we're gonna do. We might have to go back to our Airbnb in Laos um, anyway, this is fun and we'll figure it out. All right, so the way it looks right now is that we're not going to Cambodia or Vietnam. Uh, it's just way too expensive. They're trying to triple or quadruple charge for everything right now. So we're probably just going to actually go back into Laos uh, for another night and hope that the Vietnam visa gets approved this evening or tomorrow morning so that we can leave out tomorrow. That's the plan right now. That could change three or four more times in the next couple of minutes. Goodbye, airport. Back into Laos we go. We're back at the cat cafe for Tiana's request. I'm not mad at it. This was actually worth missing a flight. So we're not sure exactly what we're doing. We're gonna be refreshing for this visa and we will catch up with you guys when we have some sort of update. All right, so after all of that, we are actually back in our original Airbnb again. Rihanna's back here. She thinks she's found somebody on Reddit who thinks they can get us a visa faster. So she's gonna take that gamble and tomorrow around 12 o'clock, we are hoping that we get to leave Laos for Vietnam, but the way things have been going, I'm not gonna count on it. Okay, so I found this girl on Reddit and apparently she's in Vietnam and I sent her um, money on WhatsApp. Everybody watching right now is like, don't do that. <laughs> but it was only $75 instead of $900. And if something's too good to be true, you just have to go with the flow, right? Isn't that how it goes? So we'll know in like, um, <laughs> uh, 16 hours if I got scammed or not, but I, she seems nice. All right, guys, we will update you hopefully on the way to Vietnam um, tomorrow at some point. Wish us luck. The girl I found on Reddit came through with our visas and we are finally able to board a flight and head to Vietnam. The only thing was all the economy seats were sold out so we had to sit in first class. It was awesome and we had the whole cabin to ourselves. It was our first first class flight ever. So we got a little taste of what it's like up there and then we finally made it. So make sure you tune in next week to see us explore the country of Vietnam.